Hello guys, welcome to Supercars of London and my first supercar. As you can tell by the smile on my face, this is the day that I launch my first supercar. To all you guys that have followed me on my journey, uh, testing the likes of the Porsche Box de Rest, which I got a lot of stick for, the uh, Lamborghinis, the McLarens, the Ferraris, but then it all whittled down to the Mercedes C63 AMG and the Audi R8. Over the three months, me and James tested these cars to the limits. We did a hell of a lot of tunnel runs. Uh, we had great laughs um, and just, I got a real feel for what I was looking for, for my dream first supercar. And I created like a, a tick list of uh, what it needed to happen. It needed to have four exhausts. A proper supercar should always have four exhausts. Um, it came down to the fact that it needed to be a German V8. Um, and we had loads of comments on whether it was gonna be the R8 or the C63. But the one determining factor which made me pick my first supercar was that it had to have two seats. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my first supercar, the Audi R8. So as you can see, the Audi R8 is the V8 version. The V10 was just another step up. Maybe my first, no, nope, my second supercar, um, the V10. But the V8, um, it looks incredible. We've gone for the silver. Um, I'll quickly talk you through the spec. It's silver. It's got the silver five-spoke wheels, black brake calipers. We've got carbon fiber side blades. Not sure whether they're going to stay carbon fiber. Um, so let's jump in and uh, have a look at the interior. So welcome to the uh, interior of my first supercar. As you can see, it's black leather. These are the standard seats, um, the sport seats. Very expensive option, and unfortunately there wasn't any on the uh, on the market. Um, opted for the manual gearbox. Thank you for everyone who um, commented on saying how good the manual gearbox was. Although I haven't driven the uh, this car yet, I haven't even done any miles in it. Um, I've been out in a few Artronics that were that just that weren't great, but I actually haven't driven an Audi R8 on public roads. Um, this is due to the fact that all dealers have uh, insurance for 25 and over, and as I'm 23, I literally the only the fastest car that I've driven on the road was my Vauxhall Astra 1.6 SXI. So a 4.2 V8 is um, a bit of a step up. But inside, as you can see, there's loads of carbon fiber. Um, we've got a six six cd changer stacker thing we've got um space for air media uh, memory cards um sat satellite navigation um and all around there's just there's a lot of nice touches electric seats electric folding wing mirrors that sort of stuff is is a very very nice spec um why did i choose the audi r8 over the uh, c63 amg well of course this has got two seats as you can see um, I'm also sitting incredibly low to the ground and the Audi R8 has those supercar looks that I'm after. Yes, the AMG sounds incredible stock, but I can assure you this car is not staying how it is. We've got some of the best companies from around the UK to get involved with this car. We've got Projects UK who deal with alloys. Um, they've built famous cars such as the red Novitec Torado in London. Um, we've got SB Race Engineering who are famous for um, their servicing, supercar specialists based in London. Um, we're hopefully going to get an exhaust system for this car through SB Race Engineering. We've got Aspect Valeting, the best detailing and valeter in the whole of the UK. We're going to have a hell of a lot of fun with him. Going to get this car super dirty just so that he can get his hands on it and make it sparkling. Um, we've also got Parata Della Strada, the, the clothing that I'm always wearing. Um, these guys are from America and they've got Italian clothing and they're designed to perfection um, and real custom t-shirts so I'm going to be wearing all of Parata della Strada throughout um, my YouTube adventures with my first supercar. So overall this car isn't staying stock so comment below on what you would like to see me do to this car. What would be your perfect colour wrap? Um, what would be your perfect colour wheels? What exhaust system sounds great on the R8 V8? Head over to YouTube and have a look through some of the Supercars of London videos because um, we've got some uh, incredible videos on the Audi R8s um, with various exhaust systems and various looks. So um, make sure you subscribe, uh, comment, share, 
thank you all for joining me on my journey of my first supercar. The adventure is just beginning, so um, make sure that you hop in the passenger seat on me and the R8, and uh, let's go for a ride. Thank <laughs> you.